Over the years, on occasion, I've been asked, what are the purpose for the paddles underneath controllers? The most popular examples being the Microsoft Lawsuit 2 and the, um, shit, what's the other one called? It's that company that the, the name explains the products. Someone will leave it in the comments. There was always one other confused question I would occasionally get. Can you map keyboard keys to them? Or for that matter, any button on your controller? And the answer is yes. And this is the best solution I found. It isn't free, but it definitely is worth looking into and pretty cheap. There's a few other options out there like X-Patter and uh, Anti-Micro, which were both pretty damn good guesses by the way. But the one we're looking at today is called Rewast, which not only allows you to remap controller and keyboard keys, but it also allows you to remap pretty much any device hooked up to your PC. Generic ass school mouse. Old keyboards with no software. It even has support for a uh, weird things fucking keypad looks like a spider so uh let me show you all right so the aspect ratio is gonna be a little bit weird but i'm a lazy cunt i'm not going to change it to get this software you simply go to the rewast website which is linked down in the description below and you pay between 7 and 25 united states slave owners for whatever pieces of the software you want excuse me why is a drunk band who flew a kite on my $50 bill. So for this video, to do the things that we're going to be doing in this video, you'll need the $7 base version as well as the advanced remapping add-on, which is another $7. But these are lifetime licenses, and you get to do some pretty crazy shit. The button remapping is super simple. You can remap any mouse, keyboard, controller input, or command to any button on your controller. As you could probably tell, this also allows you to use your controllers or any device you want anywhere. You don't fucking believe me, do you? Okay. Let's pan out into Adobe Premiere Pro, and I'll, put, I'll even put a little, a little clip right here of me doing it. Do you see me editing this video using my controller? When I say you can use these things anywhere, I truly do mean anywhere. Although things like uh, combo inputs are something that you'll need to pay for, unfortunately. And as stated by a couple of people on the internet, apparently input lag is, is pretty bad, but I haven't really noticed anything. I'm not discrediting that it exists, I'm just saying that like I, I don't I notice zero difference. You know who notices the difference? It's probably those dumb cunts who own gaming rigs that are as expensive as my four-wheeler. Both the thumbstick and trigger dead zones are adjustable, I believe, as long as you buy the advanced mapping portion of Rewast, but I could be wrong. But you can truly get instant triggers or even zero thumbstick dead zone on your controller, which to the sweatiest of competitor fuckers probably sounds better than sex. All right, now I have a question. You stupid little kids like pretty colors, right? Well, how about pretty colors on a DualSense controller, like breathing red, or a rainbow on a uh, DualShock 4 controller? Well, Rewast also has settings for RGB peripherals, although the list is as long as the list of clean politicians. I've made that joke before somewhere. I just, I just remembered that. Let me see if I could find it. Some dope peripheral options do present themselves though, like Nintendo, Steam, or DualShock controllers. You could even make it so the LED tells you when your battery is low. Or, if you're an old school wire god like me, you can focus on the pretty color RGB options like breathing, solid glow, shimmer, gay. Fuck, I've been cancelled. I can't get cancelled. I got channel members who will find each and every Twitter user and send them a bag of shit. Yeah, this video's over. This has just been my uh, my little controller tutorial for Rewast. For the, the things that people who are interested in my channel would be interested in Rewast for. You know, things like adjustable thumbstick and dead zone triggers. So clearly Rewast is way more in depth than what I'm saying here. You have things like uh, haptic feedback controls, options for different slots and buttons to cycle through those slots, different button configs for different controllers or different types of controllers like Xbox and PlayStation. The list just goes on and on and on. And I'll leave a couple of tutorials in the description down below for people who are looking more for specific things. But really this video is mainly just to raise awareness for Rewast for my controller players out there. Yes, this is a PC only thing that I mean PC and Mac obviously, but try to do things with controllers on console like overclocking them or, or mapping keyboard keys to them or doing crazy things with them it's kind of the fuck's the word impossible so until they're a little less restricted i suppose basically <laughs> buy a pc just buy a pc man just buy a pc just buy just buy a pc man just buy a pc just buy a pc I'll see you later. I'm going to go play on my PC.